Unfortunately, as I uh, have just pointed out, uh, both positive interest and negative interest have have grown. And um, when one wonders, one reflects on what can be done uh, about this. Um, in the short term, uh, of course, uh, uh, people use the, the press or, or other means to, um, to influence the public. Uh, but uh, and my opinion, and I, I've said this even before the COVID-19 epidemic, uh, is that one has to start in childhood. One has to uh, teach uh, children uh, and uh, when I say children, I, I mean including children, um, let's say in in, uh, in high school, in uh, uh, lycée. I don't know the for forgotten the Spanish word for um, for uh, high school, but um, in any case, one needs to educate children uh, about what vaccines are, what they do. Uh, and why they're important. Uh, and in the United States, we see the effect of not doing this. We, we see opposition to uh, vaccination, which is based on personal belief, uh, nonsensical uh, information, and so forth. Uh, and uh, I feel that that can be dealt with, but it has to be dealt with at, at an early stage in life because by the time people become adults, they have fixed opinions um, based often on um, uh, information which is incorrect. Um, uh, and, and it's very difficult to change opinions in, in adults because uh, adults tend to hold to those opinions no matter what. <laughs>